Hi everyone, this is BB, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Christmas embellishment project to share with you guys. Um, I'm also working on call, uh, uh, projects called Kill a Paper Pad or Shop Your Stash. So here's an old paper pad from 2014 Holiday Burlap from Craftsmith at Michael's. This was burlap on top of um, heavy cardstock. So it came in plain green, red, uh, stripe, polka dot, and chevron. So what I decided to do was, what I'm sorry for the glare, my heavy steel rule dies from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. So I've got a Gingy, a Poinsettia, and a candy cane. So what I did here was use my trusty old Big Shot because um, the steel rule dies will not go through the Gemini machine. I use stickles and white fabric paint to enhance the embellishments and just glued everything with good old Aileen's tacky glue. So the first embellishments I'm going to show you, these are my husband's favorite, are the candy canes. And the interesting thing about the candy cane that you could make it like this or you could not do it. It's, it's two portions. So you could have a just a plain candy cane or you could have it with the cutouts. So I liked it with the cutouts. So some of them are green and gold stickles. Some are just one color stickle like this one's all gold. But I think that these came out really cute, very vintagey. The next one are Gingies, Gingerbread Man. And my granddaughter helped me put the buttons on. And we used googly eyes for the eyes. And I used the white fabric paint for their mouths. And I'll show you a couple in a minute. Yeah, here she wanted to make this one a girl. <laughs> But I was, I didn't, I only had one bow button. So a couple of the mouths I made like this, like Cookie Monster's mouth, and she didn't like that. She said that it looked like a zombie. So the couple that look like zombies, I don't know, maybe I'll use them for Halloween. Like this one she said was a zombie, and this one she said really was a zombie. But these will be used on packages. They're a little big for cards, maybe on a tag, uh, but definitely on presents. And then these ones are my favorites, are the poinsettias. And you could make them as detailed as you wanted. Um, I just used the three layers and did the gold on all the poinsettias. Let me show you the back so you can see that this is good, heavy, cardstock and I used a bread to hold everything together so I just mixed and matched all the fabric which I thought was really cool because you really couldn't go wrong you could do all green if you wanted all red but I like to mix up the colors I think it looks better when I asked Kylie what her favorite color is she says rainbow so that that's that's pretty cool with me so I just wanted to come on quick show you these embellishments give you an idea of what you can do when you shop your stash I'm trying to use up I have so much Christmas paper I'm gonna use up what I have so I can go buy more isn't that the American way <laughs> anyway I hope everybody's having a great day it's pouring here in South Florida but if you can make it a crafty one do so and we will talk to you soon thanks so much for stopping by have a great day, everybody. Bye now.